Okay, guys, this is the more complicated um, add-on of page 3.0. Um, as you all know, um, this section here pulls out certain information regarding your page and enables you to and basically build your schema, your Facebook OG and so on and so forth. Now, a few clients have asked me to try and add a bit more of an advanced version of the schema. Um, now, this was asked for a while ago, but to incorporate it into the plugin itself has been quite difficult. Um, and it's still not 100% perfect, but it does work. It's just quite complicated to use. Um, and this is going to be made easier. However, you're gonna have to bear with us on this. Anyway, I love it. I think it's awesome. I think it's gonna really help the ranking. So there's a button here now. If you come down, down your page, there's a button. So we're now on an auto locksmith website and there's a button here. And if you click it, it opens up this little page here. Okay, which is a magic page schema builder. <clears throat> now, if you're on a small screen, if you're on a 13 inch screen or something like that, cause I'm on a 27 inch Mac, I think here, if, if that gets close to a certain distance, that's gonna start hiding itself because of the size of the form. So what you're gonna have to do is just grab the edge and just stretch it out a little bit until you can see everything on the page. So you can see this and this. Okay, so we're doing a yeah auto locksmith site. So it's a local business. You've got all your different options here. For a local business, what will happen is it will pop up and show certain things. So I could either go down and register this as a locksmith or alternatively, I can put it down as an automotive business, auto parts, rental, whatever. I'm gonna put it down as an automotive business. I don't suppose it really matters massively. And then what we would do is we would um, <clears throat> we would we would we would name the business. But what I tend to do, rather than naming the business, is okay. So let's go back to this. Let's copy this a sec. So you can't open and close this whilst, you, whilst you're on the thing, unfortunately. So what you'd have to do is open the same. Open the same page twice. And I'll show you exactly why in a minute. You go over to your magic page. <coughs> Excuse me. to edit the page <clears throat> okay and now this is going to give you all your short codes and everything you're going to need so what you do is i grab this for the name because this is a multitude of spun titles so we've got five spun titles there and then we use that code in our title and everything else so what we do is in our schema go up to your schema now you don't have to use this you can use something different but what i'd use is that bam so stick your spun text title and then you want your url so you go back here grab this section of your url Copy that, paste that in there. Okay, next section you're gonna want is a logo. If we've got a logo on here, we have. So let's copy the image location. Paste that in there. And then another image off the site from anywhere that you want. So if I go over to the Lost Car Keys page, grab, copy image location and then paste the URL in there. Okay, so we've done that so far. Next, you're gonna want a number. Now, this is always gonna start with a plus. So you get your phone number in there. There's actually two places on the page where you're gonna put your phone number, further down here as well. Oh, further down here. Okay, and then move further up, and then the next section is gonna be your price range. So whatever your price range is, if you Ours is fifty pound. Oh, one second. My keyboards are different on both computers. Right. So so ours is between two between fifty and two hundred and fifty quid now. Then you got your description. So what you then do is go back to your magic page again. And then you're gonna come down here and just copy that one to your description because that's going to give you i've got three different descriptions in there all spun so what that's going to do is give you <coughs> those then for address um 
we want a street name. Now, what I tend to use is I just get a list of 100 men's names and put them into a uh, spin tax generator, which is, um, I think it's... This one here. So I'd get a list of 100 men's names or 100 women's names or 100 street names. It doesn't really matter, most popular street names. And you put them in here. And then what it will create for you, file open, is a list that looks something like this. Right, this one here. So as you can see, I've got Noah, Liam, Mason. And then I add this little bit of spun content code here, street, road, avenue, park, place, and villas. Okay, so you do that, and oh, you plunk that in there. So you've now got the name of the address, and then after that, it gets pretty simple now because literally your location is going to be the city, which is already provided via Magic Page, the region, which is already provided by Magic Page, the zip, which is only incorporated on the UK and USA license. UK license is not out at the minute, but will be next week, week after, depending on how well 3.0 does. Then latitude. So you're literally just going to be able to whip down the page and copy all this stuff. Um, and now I know this is quite long-winded, but as you know, schema is very important for ranking. And to get the schema the be as best as you can <clears throat> is very important. Um, so the way that this, this form works, this enables you to really use some advanced schema now i've put this in here on purpose because this little copy thing here basically pulls in it goes to google.com looks at maps places location and then it gives the app the latitude and longitude settings so i've put that in there for you to copy and paste rather than you have to mess around and figure out how to get a map url that works for every single location then we go up here and you can just literally set your working hours for whatever hours you work for the week whatever days you're going to be covering you don't press the button at all it just won't include the the thing with my business we're 24 hours so i kind of just hit the not to not all the way along but i'm just doing different times so you can see what it does inside the schema code now there is a little bit more of an advanced thing going to be happening in a minute because what happened what i've not yet shown you is remember the protected code Anyway, let me finish this. And also, there's, there's certain contact types in Schema which are quite hard to find. So what I've done is, you've got all your contact types here. I tend to just copy this and paste the whole thing in. However, you might say, well, we've got customer support, we've got technical support, we've got billing support, we've got bill payments, we've got sales, we've got reservations, or we haven't got reservations, so we delete that one with the pipe, uh, credit card support, and so on and so forth. So you can decide which ones are uh, relevant for you and just copy the lot and delete the ones that are not but remember whenever you delete a say bill payment for example you'll delete one of the pipes next to it don't leave double pipes next to each to other in the spin text i tend to just grab that paste it in bam and then i'm done and then what you end up with is a schema that looks something like this okay okay now this will work perfectly if your schema is sorry if your website has spin text turned off because as you can see this code as, as, as I've explained in other videos has these in them that's not part of the spin text okay now I'm going to show you how to work with that but first of all what I would usually do is go over to somewhere like this where as you can see I've got loads of different and you can see I've protected them and I would just don't forget the more of these you save more you can use um, and if you wanted to add these into your x fields and have five or ten different schemas for the same website all spun and then all spun each other that's more of an advanced video than this and I, I can do it if people if people want to see it but so basically as you can see the difference between this protected schema up here and this schema over there is these little things here so what I, I've put down the bottom here is just a little text editor for you so what you do is you paste your schema into there and it brings it up with big writing. Now I've done it on purpose so it's big writing so you can see what you're doing. And all you're looking for is these little things here where they've not got, where they're not part of the spin text. So you see this one here is part of spin text, okay? Um, that one there is part of the spin text, street, valley, place, park. Um, whereas the spin text description, that's part of your spin text, even though it's multi spin text. But as you can see, it's got an open and close wrapping the content. So all the ones we're looking for are these here. 
Now I'm expecting quite a few customer support queries about this <laughs> um, and I don't mind helping, but what I will say is watch the video and, and, and do try and figure it out because it, it is quite simple once you get used to it. So what you've done here is I put the bit that you need to use down the bottom. So you copy that section and what I do is I paste it in next to it. And then I just grab the bit that I was gonna be thingy in and I copy it, delete this, and paste it back in there okay so that's removed the first one and then what I'll do is I'll go and look for open brackets first of all before I do anything else I'll look for the open brackets so I'll come down and say right that one there is not part of the spin text it's not it's, it's, it's quite easy once you've done it once or twice come down again and look as you can see that's the end of that spin text over there so that you don't use this one there's another but that's an end version so I'm looking for the open ones first so what I'll do is come here and say that one's an open one protect the open one that's a closed one. There's another open one. So there we're done, right? So then what I do is I come here to the bottom, paste the open one in there, and then change that to a closed bracket, okay? Then copy this bit and look for, oops, copy this bit and look for the closed bracket versions. So your closed bracket versions is that one so see, see it actually gets much easier once you've done it a little bit and you can see them replace that one with with protected content replace that one with protected content and have we got any more in there okay so everything else these are all done everything else is inside spin text so you don't want to touch them because you do want them to spin so it's a, it's, a, it's a five minute job. It's not it's not a big job, but it, it can be complicated the first time you look at it. But once you know what you're doing, um, and once you follow this video a couple of times, it'll be really easy. I'm probably gonna stick this video in at the top of here as well, so you can actually watch it over. Then you just literally copy that. Let's take that back over to where we've got this one here. And I'll paste that one in underneath there. So I've got a copy of both the protected and the non-protected. And then what we do is we come back to our site. So now, now when I close this, you're going to lose all this information. So if you open that up again now, it's a fresh kit fear form. So you don't close that while you're working on it. You're going to be pretty peed off at yourself. Then what you do is you come down here. And as you can see, I've had schema in there previously, but I'll delete that one. New X field. Okay, let's call it schema. Now you can paste this straight in here. But the reason I don't is you better put it in your X field because it keeps it all nice and neat and everything for you. And in addition to that, if you get a client who right says, okay, well, your websites are ranking well for auto locksmith we're using at the minute, but say you've got a client who wants every location within um, a 50 mile radius of, of his business, and he wants certain opening times and closing times and everything else, on his business and he wants different schema to you and a different contact number in the schema and everything, what you do is you go in here and say, okay, the guy's called me because it's, 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 it's Mike. But no, we don't do that. Sorry, ignore me, I'm talking crap. You can give him one location like that, but come down to the bottom and say, okay, this guy's the guy we're using for the area that he wants. His schema is gonna be different. You paste it in there, go back over to the schema form and rebuild him his personal schema exactly as he wants it. So all the overlay pages he's got will also have his own personal schema showing on them. Okay, so the reason I always use this is it just makes things much more structured. Copy that and then, right, and I will show you this now. If you go up here and paste this in the head code there, if you were writing a real website, your schema is always gonna show up before your overlay code. You're never gonna put your overlay code in above your schema. So if you ever have both running at the same time, like so, you'd have always put overlay under schema. Okay, now I'm going to update this and show you what the schema looks like that we've just built. Okay, so we're going to view the page and the overlay should be in again. So we just put the overlay back in and we go over to here. In fact, let me do one of my locations. Okay, there we go. So that's one of my locations. The overlay works again as soon as you take it out and put it back in. Click on it. schema and as you can see this if it ever loads here we go so as you can see we've got two different schemas there now we've got the local business one that um, magic page 
brings in automatically for you. There's a, I've not put the image in the bottom right hand side of the page, so that's why I'm getting that error. Otherwise, you wouldn't normally get that. So that brings in local business. It's got a nice description. Leave vehicle opening service, blah, blah, blah. Sale, it's all, all the other crap that you need for, for that particular one. Then we come back out and look how much more advanced the automotive business one is. So you get the business name up here. Uh, and like I said before, you can put the same thing in and it'll bring the same one through as it has on the other one. Or you can add just a spun type name and stuff completely different to the other one. So everything's different. You've got your URL, you get your logo, you get your normal image, telephone number, price range, brings in the description, has a map, shows the map. See there, Lee, then get if we open link in a new tab shoot you up to Google Maps as you can see bang brings you right in to near where I live in the UK so it, it, it works <coughs> opening hours postal address Michael Avenue Lee Northwest and postcode like I said the zip code only works for the UK and the USA at the minute um, we're thinking of putting it back in for the other locations but there's nothing nothing certain the only reason the UK and the USA has got it is that they were in previously and I've never taken them out um, following Google clamping down on them your country comes in, as you can see, then you've got your geo coordinates, contact point, and the contact point is, you see, remember the spun thing I showed you earlier where it had you obviously baggage tracking on this one? If we go and view the schema on a different page, where's the pages? If we go up here now and then go to Atherton, which is a couple of miles out from my house, but it'd be another page where Automotive business again. Still got the same error with the image, which I can update on the page, no problem. But look, that's reservations now. So these things change. Ryan Avenue, Atherton instead of Michael Street or Avenue, whatever it was before. Everything changes. This will all be unique. These will all be unique. And price ranges can be spun. Phone numbers can be spun. Everything inside this can be spun now to the point of the same spun that you do on your page. So you can spin the crap out of all of it and get it absolutely perfect and absolutely unique. And then if you wanted to go really technical with it, which a lot of people's probably turned the video off by now, what you do is you, you build five or six of these versions. You see, you see like this here, this this one with the verbatim in, with the protection, build five or six of them, and all you need to do is copy each one of those, like so, right, you put them all together in a big list like this, and all you do is you start it with one of them, and then after the first one, you'll put a pipe and then you'll add the second one below that and add another pipe and the second one below that and add another pipe. And then at the end of the final piece of script, so say you've got six of these, you'll just add close bracket like that. And what it'll do is it'll then spin not only the schema, but it'll also spin between the schemas. So you can actually have 10 different versions of the same schema. So, so say you add, Say you had an auto automotive business and you wanted to, come on. Say you had an automotive business and you wanted the schema to be different in each one or you wasn't bothered which particular one it was. You could literally just go as simply as changing between these. So automotive business, auto body shop, auto dealer, auto parts store. So you could do a schema for each of those and spin it between the whole page. Or alternatively, if you wanted you could have all them schemas on the same page, like it was a multi-trade industry. It's it's as, as flexible as you want it to be. Um, we are going to try and add a button here somewhere where you can go in and just select whether it's um, whether it's on a spun content website or not. But at the minute, that's still causing shitloads of problems for us. <laughs> so as soon as we can get that done, we will. Hope that helped you guys. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye.